the government really has put in money, and as you can see, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Uganda Airways Corporation resumed its normal operations on September 4, 2017, after the termination of the Rift Valley Railways concession that had been hired to run its meter gauge line. They were not paying the concession fees. So literally, the truck was gone, the workshop you are seeing was gone, the locomotives were not there, the ships on the lake were all dilapidated. So literally, there was an overrun down of the equipment and the infrastructure. But the I director of transport at the Minister of Works and Transport, Kajuna Benin Mwebaze, says the corporation is being revamped to take on its mandate of ensuring that the railway, marine and road services, both in and outside the country, are well managed. The objective now is most of the cargo, once we have done the rehabilitation of the uh, railways, most of the cargo will move from road to railways. Now, that will save us on maintenance costs of roads to it will reduce on the costs of transportation on the cargo so that now the people can be able to enjoy goods at a low cost. Kajuna so was speaking at the opening of Narukorongo Railway Training School in Dewa, near Kampara. The managing director, Uganda Railways Corporation, Stanley Sendegea, says a capacity building program is one of the emergency ventures being undertaken by the corporation to make it more viable. Right. So we have like eight locomotives now that are functional. But after these projects, we are going to have, uh, we are going to have uh, brand new locomotives, uh, ten, ten shunting locomotives, and another eight mainline locomotives after three years. That is the locomotives. Then in terms of capacity, we are currently moving about to 30,000 tons of cargo, and after three years, we shall be moving 120,000 tons per month. The training is being handled by Spanish railway experts who have been hired to revitalize Uganda Railways Corporation staff and management. Uh, we'll uh, help you uh, with this capacity building and I'm trying to transfer honestly all the knowledge we have. And Uganda Airways Corporation recently uh, imported four refurbished flight locomotives from South Africa to bolster its transport services. Hayumana Deo reporting for BC News.